For the first time since 2011, it is mid-November and the Grand Junction Tigers are still here practicing football. Everything feels like it matters just a little bit more. Every move, every step matters a little bit more and just more intense. Practices are more intense, they're more careful, more thought out. We're looking through, we're only looking into the game ahead instead of a couple games and planning and scheming. We just gotta make it through the next week and that's what we're doing. You couldn't ask for a better start to the playoffs for Grand Junction. Their best offensive output of the season, putting up 59 points in a 30 point win. It was the first football playoff game I played in. Obviously, I don't know the last time we played in one, but winning that game how we did, it's just something like I, I could only dream for. You know, offensively, we executed very well on, on Sunday. It all, it all goes to the kids. You know, we, we put the game plan in and they executed it, you know, almost to perfection. I want to remind you that over the last four seasons, Grand Junction football had won just five total games. The program appeared dead in the water until this season as the Tigers enter round two of the playoffs with a 10 in one record and everything feels different. It means the world. It's great for playing with these guys and doing everything, going through 1-9, 0-10, and 2-8 and eight seasons, and coming out, ending the season 9-1 and one feels amazing. Winning a playoff game and the first playoff game in like 13 years feels amazing. It does, does a lot for the community too, because when we were coming out to the game, we see a bunch of people wearing their Junction Lettermans from when they were in high school, and it's just cool to see. This senior class, and I've talked a lot about them this year, what they wanted to do with their senior year and what, how they wanted to change and put this program back on the right path. And we, we met last spring, and, and it was, it was win, win so many games and get in the playoffs, and, and like that, that's what we want to do. And what I love about it is they have redirected that focus to not get in into the playoffs, but to continue to win. They, they, they want to win games. And, and they've changed the culture here. They, they have changed how this team goes about practice day in and day out. And they've, they've changed just the, the whole demeanor. But now it's time to show just how much this program has changed. Taking on a Ponderosa team on Saturday in round two of the 4A playoffs. And this is a Mustangs team that has a very balanced attack offensively. And they haven't scored less than 40 points in a game since October 4th. Anytime you get to this round of the playoffs, you know, everybody's good. And uh, Ponderosa is very well coached. Uh, they've got some great athletes. They're, 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 good, they're very good sized up front. Uh, they run the ball well, and they got a great play action game that we have spent a lot of time this week working on, changing up some fronts, doing some things that ho hopefully goes to our advantage. This definitely is the best offensive line we've faced this year. So their running back is really good in their offensive line. I mean, they just play scheme football and they like they're coached well. They have experience in the playoffs, and that's I mean, it's just what makes them a good offensive team. They have a ton of big athletic dudes on their team, so we just got to figure out how to get away from them and do what we do best and just keep playing our game of football because we trust it so we're going to believe in it all the way. 1 p.m. kickoff Saturday in Parker, Colorado. A huge game for the Grand Junction Tigers trying to surprise some folks and perhaps pull up a bit of an upset tomorrow. Well, they've done enough surprise and they've kind of showed why they deserve to be at the, in this stage right here in the playoffs because they've played great all season long. You heard the story in that great package you just did starting from, you know, a bad record and they just got better every single season. So this is their time, man, and I'm looking forward to them.